Campbell, welcome back. This past year, we launched a few news series in response to the global pandemic. There's the Do Your Part, which highlights the good deeds happening in our community, and Make Ends Meet, where investigator Mike Holfield works to help viewers who are dealing with unemployment issues. We also launched the News 6 Trust Index this year in an effort to be more thorough, consistent, and aggressive in our own fact-checking approach on things. And we can sure say it was successful and very helpful. ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Foles is here to recap a few of the biggest trust index entries. Going in, we had no idea just how much an initiative like this one would come to truly be needed throughout the year. From vaccines to voter fraud, our team of fact checkers has investigated the ins and outs of countless claims over the last several months. And we've debunked many myths along the way. So let's take a look at some of the biggest claims we looked into this year. First on our list, myth or fact COVID-19 vaccine edition. In less than a year, scientists and health officials were able to develop, approve, and roll out a vaccine in hopes of bringing the coronavirus pandemic to an end, providing hope to countless Americans, but also raising some concern from those who are skeptical about how quickly the whole thing happened and whether the accelerated timeline jeopardized the safety of the vaccine. To address some of those concerns, we spoke to multiple infectious disease experts who debunked some of the myths about the vaccine that have circulated online. Next up, President Trump's claim that there was plenty of proof of voter fraud. We were prepared for Election Day to go longer than a day, and it did. Americans waited days for the results. And during that time, claims of voter fraud, especially from the president and his legal team, grew. They threatened that all the late claimed Biden states would be legally challenged because there was, quote, plenty of proof of fraud. We ran those claims through the trust index to see if they had a legal leg to stand on. Both a law professor and a political expert warned there likely wasn't as much proof as President Trump had suggested. And we'll take you down a couple months back. You're really going to have to think back to remember this one. But we did investigate this claim earlier in the year. Was Florida really keeping tabs on travelers? You'll remember, early in the pandemic, New York was considered the coronavirus hotspot of the U.S., which is why Governor Ron DeSantis in March ordered those coming to the Sunshine State from New York and surrounding states to enter a self-quarantine upon arrival. Part of the executive order mandated state officials assist the health department in enforcing quarantines for every person who drove or flew into Florida. Well, when confronted by News 6, the governor said many of these follow-ups were being done by local health departments. When our fact-checking team asked those officials if they were conducting checks and how many, many of their responses contradicted what the governor had said. For more big claims, we fact-checked. And to submit ones you'd like our team to look into, just head to clickorlando.com slash trustindex.